YouTube channel. I seriously appreciate you being here. We're back here in the 2007 Nissan 350Z HR. And as you saw from the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about everything wrong with this car because there's a few things that I haven't quite told the channel, honestly, with these cars being 13, 14, actually, let's see, 2020, that would be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 years old now this car is as an 07 is basically 17 years old now and honestly 17 years is a good amount of time and things are breaking so we're gonna roll up over here to a local park in the area the sun is going down check it out it is beautiful golden hour right now absolutely perfect time to drive because honestly these days mid-june have been basically 98 99 degrees every single day and it's just so hot to cruise around with the windows down and stuff so the evenings are where it's at we're gonna cruise on for a little bit we're gonna pull off over here we're gonna talk about some of the issues with this car honestly not too bad but just things that I have to think about and you know get fixed over time so let's talk about it first things first we got a check engine light on and of course you know the check engine light on this car has been on and off for quite a while now and there's a great reason for it as you accelerate there's like this da, 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 da. like I don't know how to explain it but it's just it sounds like a fuel cut listen But it goes away after about five, 10 minutes of driving after the cold start. So based on the research I've done, there's an O2 sensor that keeps going out and it's because it's stripped and it's basically held in with JB Weld. And I need a new set of headers to fix it. Both sides, specifically the O2 sensor, it's got a leak in it because it's stripped and because there's JB Weld, the JB Weld has melted kind of, and it's left a little bit of a leak where the O2 sensor sits. So a new set of headers, no check engine light and no weird like, you know, stuttering at the cold start i just think it has a hard time figuring out what the air fuel ratio is and that's why the check engine light is on and that's also why it kind of stutters at this lower rpm not the biggest issue and also like i said after about 10 minutes it totally figures itself out it just kind of has to calibrate itself when it's driving not a huge deal because obviously once the 10 minutes is up this thing absolutely rips but we're gonna pull off over here and we're gonna talk about a few other things that are wrong cosmetically really that's the only engine or performance issue that we're having and it goes away after a little bit so at least that partially the reason I haven't gotten it fixed yet is because it goes away I kind of like headers cost a lot the labor to do that costs a good amount of money So I've been putting it off for a little bit But if you know a guy or you know someone or you have a set of headers for sale for a 2007 or 2008 Nissan 350z HR Let me know in the comments because definitely need a new set time to be out and about bang those downshifts though a lot of exhaust kits or test pipes specifically will throw check engine light issues that's usually because of the o2 sensor some people even delete the o2s there's so many other ways the engine figures out how to find out the air fuel ratio that's like the mass airflow sensors and stuff like that so it's not too big of a deal but we're definitely going to get there and fix it oh man this car Ralphs. Heck yeah. Props to the semi-truck drivers out there. I don't think a lot of people in this world realize that, you know, the society would not function. Ooh, ooh, sorry. Evo. Society would not function without them. So thank you. If you're a semi-truck driver out there, thank you. Seriously, thank you. All right. Sun is going down. Look at that. Look at that. 2007 Nissan 350Z HR painted in San Marino blue. If you're familiar with the channel, you've been watching for a while, you know this car. We've been working on this car for about a year now, fixing it up, getting it back into, you know, its original glory. But today's video is about the imperfections and things we need to fix on this car because it's not perfect. And as we walk around here, you can probably see what I'm talking about. First things first, emblems the car is missing emblems honestly they're way too much money about 250 dollars online or about 200 bucks to buy brand new emblems for the whole car that's including the fender emblems and the front and the rear emblems i don't think emblems should cost that much money but you know i don't make the prices so it's not up to me but uh Honestly, I do need to get that. That's just one thing I've been putting off because, you know, it's kind of a, it's, people ask me what it is and I'm like, oh, well, you can't tell it's a Nissan, but 
you know, people ask me. So emblems are definitely on the list of things I need to buy very, very soon. The second thing, as you can tell, you could probably see it right here, but this window, the window was replaced right before I bought the car. And every time I open this door, the window goes down like a significant amount. Like, look, you see that? I could basically roll the window down by opening it three or four times. Let's see how many times it takes. Oh, we got one more, one more. Windows down. So, you know, I just gotta get into the door. There's a reset motor on the inside for the window motor and you can kind of adjust or set where it's supposed to open because the doors are programmed to drop like a quarter of an inch when you open the door just cause it kind of slides up underneath this little piece because they're frameless. So I just gotta get in there and reset the motor. I do have a video on that if you're interested. I'm gonna put the link right here. I've also heard it can be done with the window switches as well. Depending on the issue, sometimes when you roll the window all the way up, it automatically goes down about halfway unless you use the manual up. If you use the auto up, it happens every time. I don't actually know if this specific issue can be fixed with the window motor button or the button that controls the windows on the door. So I, I kind of have to figure that out, but I'll probably have a video coming soon about that specifically. Has not been too big of a deal to be honest, but recently, recently, this whole door has been kind of giving me issues. I, I honestly, I broke this and it works if you grab the bottom, but the top, there's a crack. And if you, if you pull it quickly, you know, it's not too bad, but there's a crack in here. Look at this, this crack right there. They're just old. You can tell they're yellowing. It's just not good. Definitely needs a new passenger door handle, but honestly, it still works. You just gotta be a little more delicate with it. The trick with the 350Z is to open it and then grab this piece and, lit and pull the door. What a lot of people do, and I happened to do that one day, was I grabbed this and I pulled the door open with this. And that's honestly, that's how you break these doors. So the handle really is to just unlatch it and then you pull it back with this piece right here. And it works pretty fine like that. And then obviously <laughs> this trim right here was not put on correctly. And it just, it's getting pulled up every day, worse and worse. I don't think I need a new one. I think I, I just need to pull it out move it over and then slide it on and it'll be fixed. But that is an issue that we're having. It randomly did that to me when I was loading stuff in from the grocery store the other day. And I'm just like, okay, well, that will add that to the list of things I need to fix, but not a huge issue. This window trim, obviously I know windshield people, like windshield guys, they, they fix all this, but this window is so old. These plastic pieces are so brittle that this, this is rock solid, so there's no way I can pull it back down into there. I'm kind of worried that it's gonna snap and then there'll be separate pieces and the whole thing's gonna peel out, so not too big of an issue, but something I do need to get fixed. The windshield has like these scuffs on it. It's like something flew out of the back of someone's truck on the freeway and it bounced off right here. And it's kind of, it could probably be buffed out to be honest if I take like a buffer. Probably could be buffed out, but I have not done that yet. And you can kind of see it. I don't even notice it when I'm driving, but it is there. So for the most part, that's pretty much all the issues with the outside of this car. I mean, the car looks amazing in my opinion. Oh, and I can't forget this piece right here. This is where the tow hook goes right underneath this on the bumper. He screws right in there. Just little things I need to kind of like button it up. And honestly, the car, being able to get in this car, start it up and just literally rip the streets is so much fun and honestly i'm so thankful the car runs amazing if it wasn't for that little o2 sensor issue we're having it'd be pretty much perfect as far as drivetrain goes you know like i said once the 10 minutes is up and it kind of figures itself out this thing absolutely rips and i would definitely recommend this car to anyone looking for any sort of entry-level sports car we got a basically a stock interior which is amazing super hard to find in these cars these days a lot of times they have a quick release steering wheel this piece has been swapped out for you know obviously like media center thing it's so refreshing to just see the oem center console i don't know why one thing i will say is with the interior these pieces i need to take these off sand them down and repaint them because it's just almost unacceptable they're all like this and the outside of the car looks way too good to have the interior door handles and stuff being, you know, obviously being scratched like that. So that is one thing we need to do. Maybe one day I'll plan and we'll try and fix as much of this stuff as we can for a video. I think we could knock it out in one video, honestly. But the paint on this car, like I just, the San Marino blue is just so perfect. At night, it almost looks black. It's just, There's so many angles of the car where the color looks different. Sometimes it has kind of a little bit of purple in it. Sometimes 
times it's really blue and then like right now where it's kind of sunset I mean you can see for yourself it's pretty much black out here and it looks so good but you can tell it has this very tiny hint of blue and it just looks so awesome. The HR hood bulge standing proudly out here in the middle of everything, honestly, so cool. Definitely need to fix this. I don't even, you know, my mind actually blocks this out. I don't even see this thing, but you can unscrew this and you can get a little tiny one. The Red Z we have has a tiny one. It's about this big and it's like aluminum. Looks great, looks super clean. Let's get in the car. Let's, let's cruise around just because the weather right now is, I mean, it's just perfect outside right now. So let's start this thing out. Seat belts on, windows down. Don't tell anyone, but we do have limo tint on this thing and it's pretty dark. I mean, you saw that. Look at that. <laughs> you can see out, but you can't see in. <laughs> Let's get some poles in here because this thing is just a blast. And when the, sun, when the weather cools off a little bit, honestly, the 350Zs, I feel like, suffer a little bit from heat soak. And when it's hot outside, it's just a little bit worse. When the air is cool outside, like it is right now, I mean, these things just absolutely rip. And I'll show you right now. <laughs> chips on this thing that Megan racing drift spec exhaust that we have on this car I will argue that it almost sounds better than a Tomei I will a lot of people are gonna uh, oh, one sec, one sec. Oh my God. a lot of people are gonna argue that point in the comments but I don't know you can argue it all you want like this thing this exhaust sounds amazing it really does all right let's get a little we got open roads so smell brakes I mean after that I'm not I'm not super surprised <laughs> I mean there it is what a car what a car honestly I I just I need to start driving some other cars because I keep telling myself there's no way there's anything else out there that will give you this level of driving experience for the price I mean it's just unbelievable to be honest I feel like this would be a good burnout spot you know do a little burnout to end the video Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. These are the issues with my 350Z HR and they're not big whatsoever, but honestly, there are things that are on my mind all the time that I do need to get fixed and we're gonna slowly start checking them off, I promise. I've been driving the Red Sea a lot more, but this car, this car never fails to put a smile on my face, so it deserves the love, it deserves the love. Hit the like button, drop a comment down below. Thank you once again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Peace out.